Hi, I'm Jeff Morrow, sales manager for the rental division of Miller Electric. We sell a lot of engine drives into the construction and rental industry. I'd like to share a few secrets with you on choosing an engine drive for, for your purposes. Uh, the most important thing, I think, is, is uh, the process. What process are you going to be running most? The beauty part of this, the real plus, is that most of the machines built nowadays, most of the engine drive machines, are multi-process machines. You can do stick, MIG, and TIG. Um, if you need a little more sophistication in the TIG process, there's usually enough uh, uh, generator power on an engine drive to run an additional uh, TIG machine. There's a lot of uh, generator power on, on all of our engine-driven machines. Uh, some as much as uh, 20,000 watts, three phase. So obviously you can run some pretty big equipment with that. Uh, you want to run a grinder or lights or other tools, you've got plenty of power to do that. The next thing I want to talk a little bit about is the, uh, the fuel choices. Um, obviously there's gasoline, uh, diesel, uh, LP is good for some situations. Uh, but I think the uh, thing to be aware of when it comes to gasoline is some job sites uh, don't permit gasoline on the, on the site. Amperage requirements. Amperage requirements are huge in this, uh, in choosing your process and, and the application that you're working on. Um, I think the, uh, the impact of uh, emissions limitations that, that, are, that we're all facing um, are going to have an impact on what, we, what process we need. Do we really need 400 amps? We know that you need that maybe for, uh, for carbon arc gouging. But there are other ways of removing metal. Uh, you might consider trying a plasma cutter, for example. Uh, with the appropriate parts, you can remove metal uh, just as quickly, probably even uh, uh, more uh, comfortably than you can with the, uh, with the carbon arc process. When it comes to moving your engine drives around, there are a number of ways that you can, you can do that. Obviously, uh, trailers. We make uh, off-road trailers and highway trailers. Um, there are cable racks and other things that you might want to put on these trailers to to uh, carry your tools, maybe gas cylinders, uh, whatever you might need. For the smaller machines, there are, uh, there are highway trailers, there are also uh, wheel kits, um, and uh, there's uh, um, protective frames for those. Another uh, thing you might want to consider is uh, accessorizing your engine-driven welder. There are some very nice remote controls available so that you can actually adjust your amperage right at the weld joint rather than going back and forth. If you're 200 feet up in the air or 200 feet away, uh, to have that remote control is a real advantage. Uh, Miller also has a wireless remote control now that operates up to 300 feet away. It's been tested with multiple arcs in the same vicinity. Works fantastic. With developments in technology, engine-driven welders have become smaller, lighter, more fuel efficient. I'm sure you'll find that they will positively impact your bottom line. If you can't make it to Con Expo this year, I uh, can't make it by the Miller booth, uh, there's a lot of stuff to see here. Uh, we're at 3586, but look us up online at MillerWelds.com for the latest in welding equipment. <music>